for the new CDL truck drivers out there who just got out of CDL school and got your certification, ready to hit the wood on your first month, this video is for you. Hello everybody, my name is Wadney and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about financing, how to get to the financial freedom. But right now, since you can see, <laughs> I'm a truck driver, so we're gonna be focused more right now on how to properly drive trucks, how to make money with your CDL, how to get your CDL, all of the good stuff. If this is something you think you might be interested in, make sure to stick around, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and leave me a comment because we're here to networking, make friends, you know, share ideas, and how to make money in general. So yeah, let's get back to the video. Once you start going over the world on your first month, you will start getting training, okay? Your trainer will be showing you a lot of stuff. But I'm just gonna tell you some of the stuff that I remember. Once you first started as a new CDL truck driver on your first month, you will need to understand your equipment, the equipment that you're using. I'm talking about your truck, I'm talking about your trailer. Once you, when, before you started, before you get started, uh, your pre trip inspection, what to look for, okay? The most obvious thing, the most important things. Everything is important, but once you're doing your pre trip inspection, because you're not a mechanic, there's this part you won't even like make, know how to check them out, you know? But some obvious stuff, like as a driver, as a professional CDRG driver, some stuff you really need to understand what, before you start driving uh, from any day, any time uh, on your shift. You need to know how to properly do your pre trip inspection, okay, from the for the truck, for the trailer. Those are really important. You need to know how to plan your trip. Uh, once, before you even begin to drive, it's it's really important to know exactly where you're going. You have the address, you know exactly where you're gonna be doing the first stop, where you're gonna make the first stop, where you're gonna take break, where you're gonna eat, if you, will, if you wanna take shower. You need to plan your trip. Don't just start driving and then figure this out while you're driving. It's not, it's not professional, it's not a good idea, it's not, it's not, it's not good so to save time and get yourself out of trouble it's always good to plan ahead what you're about to do this is how professional drivers do things okay and you need to learn how to properly use your ELD if you're not a, if you're not familiar if you're not familiar with the ELD ELD device or like your tablet or something where you're gonna have on the truck like that indicate you exactly how many hours you have left available to drive how many time you have to drive uh, you need to be you need to be exactly uh, aware of that you need to know how to use it properly so you don't get in trouble you need to know when to take break when you know when to drive how many hours you have left to drive all of those stuff because every ELD every ELD you have like around like 14 hours window for the day from the 14 hours window you will have to drive 11 hours from it you don't have to drive the the full 11 hours but you have 11 hours to drive uh, from the 14 hours window and you have eight hours you can drive straight i don't recommend you drive straight eight hours you can stop before the eight hours like you know ends like one hour before the eight hours uh and that's why you need to plan your trip like i mentioned earlier and you have like four different uh, time sets on it and you have the 70 hours for the week but the 70 hours for the week it's this is like not something that you could just like discuss if you guys want i could make a separate video uh, showing like how exactly the the login device work eld stands for like electronic login device if i'm not mistaken El electronic login device you're gonna use it every time before you start driving this is the, the this is the uh software you're gonna be using to say you're doing your pre-trip you're gonna start driving all of those good stuff so this is crucial you need to understand it perfectly so you don't end up getting a ticket or committed a violation none of this stuff because it's not gonna be good for your driving record eld is very important if i were you i would be i would be asking my trainer exactly how how to get showers how to get free showers this is very important because the first month you're probably gonna be end up paying showers for, for some days and you will need you will need to take showers as well hopefully you get like a trainer that really focus like you know hopefully you get a trainer that's interested in taking showers because some trainers are yeah they probably won't be that much interested on on showering and you will have to figure that on your own once you're on the highway as a truck driver there, there are some mistakes you cannot be making 
you want to put your life in somebody uh, or people or, or everybody else in danger you need to know your moves like you can be driving on a selfish way on a reckless way you have to you you can be driving the truck like you were driving your personal car <laughs> this is not the way it works okay before you switch in lane put your put your turning signal on you know put your your signals on okay before before you, sw you switch in lane because you don't forget you you heavy and you really heavy and you also uh, really long size you know vehicle you you high profile vehicle so you need to be aware of the move moves that you're gonna make before you even make that so you don't get anybody over the road hurts be aware of the signs when you're driving don't be just focused on listen listening to music or talking to people you have to you have to read the signs the signs will actually help you indicate you what's what's ahead of you it's a it's a it's a warning it's a warning that's saying that hey uh, in, in this amount of miles you're gonna you're gonna have this way station coming up after this amount of miles you're gonna see uh, 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 this truck stop but you know from this exit if you need to take a leak if you like if you for example you need to take to go out to get off the, the truck and take a leak if you miss the exit you know you, you, need, you need to be aware of that if there's like wood construction ahead of you they're gonna warn you with a sign that say like in 15 miles there's gonna be wood construction so you're gonna have to use left lane only as a truck trucks use left lane they're gonna put this up on the sign but if you're like hey, nothing talking to your friend I am like once you get to the to the like you know to the to the place where they warn you about like now you you don't even know what to do and you'll be behaving in a bad way that could cause drama into the world so you don't you don't want to do that be a professional driver you can always talk to to people on the phone over the phone using like your headset and drive properly but still keep eyes on the signs let's say for example you work you break down over the world and you call in your dispatch or your company the, the first thing they will be asking you they, they, I think I'm assuming they will be knowing in what state you're driving or the state you're driving they probably know it but they'll be asking you you know sometimes they'll be asking you in purpose what what would you drive in? What in the state you you're in right now? Probably you. Some drivers like don't be surprised. Like some drivers won't even recognize the the, the inner state they're in. You know they'll be like looking around. Oh, inner state, inner state. I'm on I I I eighty. I eighty. You know they be guessing. You have to know the inner state you're driving. What side you're driving over the wood? You know if you're going east, if you're going west. If you're going you know north south. You, you need to be aware of those signs. If you break over the road, your dispatch asking you, what's the last mile mark? You know, what's the last mile mark you saw over the road and you will be taking over? I didn't see it. I, 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 don't, I don't remember. I didn't, I didn't look at look at the signs. You have to pay attention to the stuff. So those information will be great. Just in case if shit hit the fan, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's not. The signs should be your best friends when you're driving. The sign should be your best friend. Okay, this is the simplest way to put it. As a professional truck driver, with the signs. <laughs> you see, I'm staying like on that subject a lot. It's because I know a lot of your guys gonna be messing up, you know, the first month. But please, with your sign, man, there's no excuses. You're gonna be making a lot of mistakes, especially when you're going to the truck stops. Okay, you're probably gonna be spending at least three, <laughs> between three to 20 minutes to back up or to back up the truck to try to park okay you're gonna be backing up the truck it will take you around like 30 minutes almost to back to park properly and there's no shame on that uh, we all started from that you know from that level uh, we didn't just like you know use the equipment properly like a professional like when we just started so just prepare yourself for that <laughs> you're not gonna be quit just at once like your first mode gonna be suck you're gonna be suck at back end and then people you're gonna be feeling uncomfortable you're gonna see other drivers around like waiting for you to back up they'll be like what's this dude doing like don't be paying too much attention to them just don't be in the worst so you don't end up you know hating somebody else chuck so you don't end up you know spending a lot of money if you're backing up into a spot take your time get out as much as you can so you you know you backing up properly okay don't take the chance and like you know assuming yeah i think like uh, my back is good enough i'm not gonna hit nobody don't do that just get out as of as, as much as you can check look 
don't be relying on people telling you, hey, I think you're good right now. No, just get out and look. This is the way it works, okay? This is really important. I don't want you to go out there and start hitting, hitting people uh, chuck, and they'll be like going crazy on you, man. So don't do that. Get out as much as you can. Like I said, you, you, you're just a, a beginner. You're gonna see truck drivers like taking like make a turn and then start backing up blah 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 you as a new city ultra driver you need to take your time and start backing up properly don't be in a rush hopefully most of the time when you're backing up it's gonna be on daytime so there's not gonna be that much activities on the parking lot so you can take your time and back up now let's say for example you 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 had the you had the parking truck okay you had the truck stop and then you're backing up into a spot that say uh, reserved if this spot say reserved is for paid uh, parking it's paid parking uh, if you're not willing to pay for the parking space don't use a reserve don't use a reserved parking space it's for people who's who's, pay, who's paying for the parking lot okay it's paid parking lot it's paid parking space don't use paid parking unless you don't have any other option and you're willing to pay for, for the parking space it's fine with you but once the parking space say reserved on the ground okay you're gonna see it like you know from the pavement you're gonna say reserved it's not free parking it's reserved a quick wake up you need to get used to the to the highway uh to the signs the signs will be your best friend understand what the sign says so you don't get yourself in trouble uh, get familiar to your equipment understand you know how to how to fuel okay you need to learn how to fuel because there's some information you need to to put on on the when you at the fuel island uh, once you once you try to fuel there's some information from the company you will need to use in order to fuel okay uh, after you done fuel in another, another tip i know that i said a week out but yeah i just like things start <laughs> getting back into my head just throwing them at you guys uh, after you done fueling okay move your truck okay pull forward don't stay on the fuel island after you done fueling and chilling blah 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 because there's probably other drivers behind you trying to get fuel as well and then hit the wood you know because sometimes most of the time we're on a schedule right once you're done fueling even if you have to go inside wash your hands get a cup of coffee just pull forward and then go inside by the time you're probably gonna be done the battery probably you know like uh going going from the inside and get out the other driver probably gonna be done and then after that you could just like start rolling so you don't get yourself in trouble so make drivers talk to you in a certain type of way you don't want to get you know into altercation with any type of drivers for dumb stuff so the fuel island is not for people to chill it's just for people to fuel and then pull forward and after that hit the wood and go wherever you want to go so i hope you get some information out of this video i don't want the video to be too long there's a lot of stuff that in my mind i don't want the video to be too long uh so it doesn't get bored hopefully you guys Learn something. Uh, let me know from the comment section below what you want to see next. Uh, yeah, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and yeah, and get out there and make some money, guys, safely. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.